Breaking news on the Taliban Five and a newly discovered plan to recruit them to work for the United States. Fox News has learned we tried to get the hardcore terrorists to be on our side after releasing them from Gitmo, but that plan failed miserably. New information now on a Friday morning. Good morning. I'm Bill Hemmer. Welcome here to America's Newsroom. And yes. Martha's got some time with the family. How are you, Heather? I'm doing good. Morning. I'm Heather Childers, and it's nice to be here. Well, the former Gitmo detainees, they are living in Qatar after that controversial prisoner swap for Bo Bergdahl. Their one-year house arrest just extended this week as the U.S. tries to keep tabs on the men known as some of the worst of the worst. So this exclusive reporting now from our chief intelligence correspondent, Catherine Harridge. And Catherine, good morning in Washington. What did you find? Well, Bill, good morning. Fox News has learned that there was an effort by the U.S. government to recruit members of the Taliban Five as assets to gather intelligence and to influence their actions in the future once restrictions were lifted. The option was pursued to strengthen the administration's ability to keep tabs on the men and prevent them from returning to terrorism. But the effort was described by a source familiar with the strategy as a, quote, total failure. A year ago, the men were greeted as heroes in the Gulf nation of Qatar, where the terms of their confinement, including travel restrictions, were recently extended but on a temporary basis. They are now joined by some 65 of their immediate family and relatives in the tiny Gulf nation. Administration critics say their living conditions alone are allowing the Taliban Five to re-engage with their old terror networks, adding that it was always well understood the men were bad actors. The five releasees have been permitted to see folks that are beyond just their other four colleagues. Uh, and so without going into the details of the numbers, uh, they have had access to outsiders who in turn have had access to the outside. And those can't bode well for American national security. Separately, a U.S. official tells Fox News that the Guantanamo transfers will resume shortly, likely this month. Bill. Wow. What is the response on this story from the administration, Catherine? Well, Bill, questions about efforts to recruit members of the Taliban Five were directed by the Defense Department, CIA, and State Department to a National Security Council spokesman who promised a written response to Fox, but none was immediately provided, Bill. Catherine Harridge, exclusive reporting there out of Washington. More coming up a bit later on this. Thank you. You're welcome.